been making clover leaf rolls with this particular recipe for many, many, many years. I don't even want to remember how many years. But I'm going to make them for you because they're a good roll, they're an easy roll, and it's just something you should have in your repertoire. So anyways, in, I have a half a cup of warm water, and I'm going to put in two tablespoons of yeast, a lot of yeast. I'm going to mix that up. Give it a good mix. You want everything in there blended. And then we'll put that off to the side for a moment. Okay. Good shot right in the sink. In my pot on my stove here, I have one half cup of shortening. Nowadays, most people probably would be using butter in this recipe. I will use butter later, but on a, as a topping. But for now, this is the recipe that I've been making for over 30 years at least. Um, half a cup of sugar and a half a cup of milk. And I just want these to melt together. I want the shortening to melt and then I want the sugar to melt into that also. So it's going to take a few minutes until this heats up and blends. So we'll just wait a couple of minutes. All right, so this is all melted. And what I will do now is I will just take this off the burner, pour it into my mixer bowl. And now we have to let that sit there and cool to room temperature. It's way too warm to add anything to. So we'll leave this to cool and we'll leave our yeast to proof and we'll come back in probably, I don't know, eight minutes or so and we'll continue with the recipe. The mixture that we heated up on the stove is now in the, in the mixer bowl here and it's cooled down. And I'm going to add to it one and one half cups of flour. I have five cups in this bowl. I may not use it all. I may just use four, four and a half, but we'll see. I want to mix this up well. And when that's mixed up, I'm going to then add the yeast and three whole eggs. So let's do that first. Okay, that's nice and smooth. Let me just get that excess flour off the edges. And now the three eggs and our proofed yeast. Let's get that back on the mixer. another cup of flour and after this I'll probably change over to the dough hook. Okay, take it off and I'm going to get rid of the paddle. Scrape down my sides a little bit. I think this time I will add in a cup and a half. If 
you want this dough to be not too soft, fairly stiff, but not dry. It's, it's a fine line when you're working with bread sometimes. But the only way to get to know what it feels like is to dive right in. And what we're going to do after this is ready is going to put it in the grease bowl, let it rise. Now I can see by looking at my dough that as it's mixing, it is still sticking to the sides a little bit. So that tells me I need a little bit more flour. But now I want to start adding it very slowly. I don't want to over add too much flour. So probably a quarter cup here. When it starts to pull away from the sides, you know that's probably stopped. Don't put any more flour in. Just let it knead for a few minutes. Unless you feel like kneading it by hand, which sometimes I love to do. I just love the feel of the dough. Depends on how much of a hurry I'm in. Still a little sticking, so a little bit more. away from the side of the bowl. Let me just see uh, it sort of sticks but not too much. I want it a little bit more drier than that so maybe just another eighth of a cup. Yeah, I want it a little bit more flour. It's still not coming off of the bottom. Okay, let me, I want to feel this. It's coming off of the hook pretty easily. Nice and soft, but very pliable. This should make really nice rolls. So I'm just going to form it into a ball. If you want to, you can knead this some more. This, these are just rolls so that it's not that critical that they be kneaded too much. I've made this without ever kneading it at all, and they've come out very well. So it's a good dough for beginners. Um, and the forming of these is a good thing to do with your kids, and you'll see why when we get there. So now I'm going to cover it up in about one hour at room temperature for it to rise, and then I'll show you how to form the rolls. Well, our clover leaf dough has risen beautifully, and I'm going to put some flour down. Just take that puppy out of there. Beautiful. Nice. Now, I have, um, this is just a six cup well buttered. This will make about two dozen rolls. I'm only going to show you six because of time. But you just take some dough. How much dough? Small ball? Maybe even smaller than that, a little bit. And Just try to keep them as even as you can. Again, if you wanted to and you've got the time, get your kitchen scale out, weigh the whole mass, and find out how many you can make by divided by three, and then you can see how many rolls you can get out of this. Because you need three per roll. Okay, now there's three. The smoother you can keep these, 
that means without lumpy bumpies in them, you know, the, the ridges. The smoother you can keep them, the nicer your rolls will turn out looking. So, one, two, and three. Again, really easy. Great recipe to do with kids. You can just give them this pile of dough, sit them at the kitchen table, and have them make all these rolls for dinner. And won't they be proud when they can bring them in and tell everybody that they made the rolls. So I will just keep going and making my little balls of dough. And then we will let these, I'll cover them with a tea towel and then we will let these sit for about, they won't take that long, maybe a half an hour, 20 minutes, half an hour. And then we will bake them, but I'll bring them back and I'll show you before we put them in the oven because we're going to egg wash them. Well, our clover leaf rolls have risen. Now we're going to brush them with some butter. This always is a good thing. And we are going to bake these at three, uh, 400 degrees, which my oven is heating up right now for 10 to 12 minutes or until they're nice and golden brown. These are small rolls, so they don't take very long to, to bake. They look yummy already and they're not even baked. Okay. So there we go. I want to make sure I get all the surfaces so that they're nice and brown. <clears throat> and like I said, 400 degrees, 10 to 12, and I'll show you when we take them out. Here are our clover leaves out of the oven. They're still really, really, really warm. <laughs> but there they are. These are delicious. And five minutes you can eat them because you want to eat them when they're still kind of warm, if you can but they're still good when they're cold. So I'm gonna just take these out of there and in a couple of minutes, I'm gonna find myself a pat of butter and it's gonna be a good time. I hope you try them. <laughs>